For much of Frederick County's history, All Saints Street in downtown Frederick has represented the epicenter of culture, business, and life for black Fredericktonians. In 1955, Lorraine Hill opened a barbershop on All Saints Street. Six years later, in 1961, Lorraine's nephew began working at the shop. Today, Bernard Buddy Hill still owns and operates the shop, one of a few black-owned barbershops in Frederick County. This is his story. I was born uh, June 12, 1943, to Ambrose and Gladys Hill of Liberty Town. Went to the Liberty Elementary, the Black Elementary. Then at the sixth grade, I went to the Liberty Town Elementary. And then from there, uh, for two years, I went to St. John's Catholic School in uh, Frederick on, up on uh, Second Street. And then from there, I uh, went to Lincoln for, I think, three years, and then uh, uh, finished up at um, uh, Linganore High School in 1963. I got married in 1965, and uh, I had two children, a girl, a son, and a daughter. Um, they grown. My wife died uh, seven years ago, and uh, but uh, I'm still really close with my children and grandchildren. My uncle, Lorraine Hill, he uh, was a barber, and uh, he opened up his first shop down in. Keys Chapel, Old Fields, Maryland. And uh, he came to Frederick to work for Mr. Bob Henderson, who had a shop on the corner of All Saint and Ice Street. In 1955, this place be uh, came available for sale. So my uncle purchased it, and uh, he opened up this shop in 1955. He, his business had grown and he didn't, he needed some help, but he had some guys coming in, but they didn't stay. So, so we came to Frederick to get our hair cut. And uh, my uncle said to my father, uh, why don't you send him to school so he can come in and help me to cut hair? And uh, well then that next, summer, I was still in high school. My, my mother and father sent me and my sister Sandra. We went to uh, beauty and barber school at Apex in Baltimore. And after we came out, finished, graduated down there, um, I started here in 1961. The longer hairstyles come out, the afro came out, business got slow, and uh, I went to, I got a part-time job with Safeway stores, and I worked for Safeway, I mean, I worked here in the day, and I worked for Safeway in the evenings, and, uh, but as time went on, business, people started getting their hair cut again, and, uh, Business started to grow in uh, 2009. I retired from Safeway, and uh, so I just came back here as uh, full time because I wanted something to do. Uh, you know, I've been here so long that everybody knows me. They know my face. Uh, I've uh, run into a lot of people I've hadn't seen in years, and they still recognize me as you know and know who I am. And uh, a lot of times when people come in, they'll get to talking this, that, and the other about different things. And uh, it always has been that way. 
It's just something to pass the time away. I'm pretty well known around in this Frederick area of F for being, being here since 1961, you know, so. But I've seen a lot of changes down in this area and the street was all black at one time, but uh, now it has changed and uh, we have a lot of white uh, people who live down here now and, uh, and everybody's just very nice. Everybody seems to get along with it, yeah. There's quite a few black barbershops all around the city and uh, they're here to stay. I'm gonna do it as long as I can and then when uh, I can't do it anymore, I'll just uh, retire and close up.